don't quite understand what you mean, Mr. Trotter. Let me try to explain, sir. Um, let me see. As what would you do if you had an extra ten or twenty thousand pounds a year coming in? Well, build a new youth club, buy a minibus for the old folks' outings. I'm afraid I'm not used to making decisions of that magnitude. Oh, well, I can change all that, Reverend. I've come up with an idea that can revolutionise your fundraising mechanism. <laughs> what do you put in there? Communion wine. Yeah, I know. But before you pour it in, it's not communion wine, is it? Well, no, it's ordinary wine, until I bless it. Till you bless it. Exactly. Now then, tell me, how long does it take to bless it? Two or three minutes. Two or three minutes, right. Well, let's call it what? Say, three minutes. That's three minutes, three times a day. That's three, three, and nine. Nine minutes a day, seven days a week. Because I know you blokes, you work on Sundays and all, don't you? <laughs> that works out about one hour a week times 52. That works out about two days a year that you lose just blessing wine. And that's not including a trip down to Obbins to pick it up. <laughs> so I reckon that you lose about, what, say, one week every year just blessing wine. Well, possibly. No, possibly. No, positively. You just think about it. Think of all the other clergymen all over the country who are also losing one week every year. Right? Oh, dear. We must be losing months and months of vicar hours. <laughs> just, just think of all the good works that you could do with all them lost months. Well, oh, I never thought of it like that before. Well, I have, I have, and I tell you, it has been bothering me. Come sit down here. <laughs> sit down, your reverence. Well, just a minute. And oh, no, that's all right. Now, you just sit down for a second and let me explain. Because <laughs> I've worked out a way in which I can give you back that precious quality time. How? Are you ready for this? <clears throat> Trotter's pre-blessed wine. <laughs> Trotter's pre-blessed wine? Yes. It's like the holy version of sliced bread. Right. <laughs> See, look, I've got this mate of mine, right? I have this mate of mine. He's a vintner up north. And he's shipping in this new range of Romanian wine. Wine. Yeah, it's going to be all the rage, don't you worry about it. And the idea is this, so you drive it straight up from Tilbury to here, where you will bless it by the lorry load, right? <laughs> then we'll ship it out to all the churches and all the cathedrals all over the country. I mean, once we're up and running, there'll be no stopping us. Where are we now? What? It's nearly 1992. I mean, this time next year, we'll be exporting all over Europe. And here is the brick on top of the jimbly, right? <laughs> we get it at 1.39 a bottle. We knock it out at £2.50. The church will be rejoicing, the flock will be redeemed, and you and I will be a knicker and a bit in front. 